Have you ever found yourself needing an internet connection somewhere on your property, but you're out of the range of your modem, certainly for an ethernet or LAN port connection, and you're even out of the range of the Wi-Fi? Maybe you're looking for a signal in your garage or your shop, or maybe your barn, a carriage house, whatever the case may be. Is the solution to get a new account from your internet service provider for those outbuildings? I don't think so. Just a basic service can cost you anywhere from another $100 to $200 a month. Well, I have a solution, so stay with me and we'll figure out a way to get this done. In this review video, we're going to be featuring the Adelov Wireless Bridge. Now, what can this system do for you? Well, it can extend your internet point of access up to 3,000 meters or 3 kilometers. That's almost 2 miles. So it doesn't take long to figure out how you can make use of this. The most relevant example I can come up with would be on your farm or acreage where you could extend your internet service out to the garage, the equipment shop, or the barn. Or maybe in a residential area to your detached garage or to a carriage house or a secondary dwelling. This is a model CPE366 wireless bridge from Adelov. Here's what you get when you order this particular setup. So when you order this, it comes in two boxes within one. The first box I'm showing you here is the mounting hardware. So it comes with, keep in mind everything is times two. It comes with the mounting pole mounts. You can mount that on a pole or screw it directly to a wall with that bracket. There's two hose clamps to fasten the device onto the pole. There is a little mounting hardware package and the instruction manual. And keep in mind again, everything is times two. When you open the other box, you'll find the receiver and transmitter. Either one can be either the transmitter or the receiver. And again, everything here I talk about is times two. So one of them is still in the box. The one you see on top is either the receiver or the transmitter device. We've got it, we've got an ethernet cable, We've got a PoE, which is power over ethernet power supply for it. Again, another hose clamp, and we have an instruction manual. All right, so here it is all laid out before you. Now, aside from the mounting considerations of where you would put everything, I'm just gonna go through basically how it works, what you have to do, and then we'll cover some of the possibilities that you can use these for. So for starters here, you have to set your switches. So each unit can be set to master or slave. And that's done by that switch here, A or B. A is a master, B is a slave. In here you have the reset button, which also functions as a menu button to select your different channels. And then you have two LAN ports, LAN 1, LAN 2. Either of those can provide the power, so there are both PoE ports and LAN ports. So here's how she goes. You plug in your adapter for PoE power. You plug your LAN cable in to either one of the ports. PoE first, if you're going to use this for powering up the master or the slave unit, you want to Put it in the PoE port of the two LAN ports. Right there, the other one is straight LAN. So, into the device, might as well pick LAN 1. And there you can see, it's powered up. Now, to connect this to, say, your main modem, your main internet access point, you would then take a LAN port out of your modem. You would plug that into the LAN port of this PoE adapter. So from your modem to the LAN port to the PoE adapter, and then from your adapter to the unit itself. So now you would have your, your master transmitting a signal. Same thing for this guy as a slave. Plug that into power, the PoE, checking to make sure this one is set to B and the slave. Plug it into LAN 1. 
Okay, so again, this one would have the modem plugged into LAN, this into the master unit. Over on this side, whatever you're going to use it for, you would plug in. So say you're going to set up a remote Wi-Fi that's connected by bridge to your main modem. You would plug in your Wi-Fi router to the LAN port on this PoE adapter, then from the PoE adapter to the slave unit. So if you look at the manual, it covers just about every scenario you could want to do with these units. You could, in the case I just mentioned, you would have your remote Wi-Fi router plugged into your slave unit. Now you're setting up a whole new Wi-Fi network that is connected to your main modem for your internet access. So all you got to do is think about these as if this was your, your main modem and your LAN port over on this side, your, and you have LAN ports on your main modem, which could be a combination wireless as well as a, uh, with LAN ports in it, then whatever you can plug into your main modem and use your laptop, your DVR box, your, your cable access for your fiber network and your, it's your TV conversion box, whatever you could plug into that, that uh, LAN port on your main modem, via this bridge, you're just extending that out up to 3,000 meters, which is incredible. And then you can plug in whatever you want into this side, which is bridged, why well, it's called a wireless bridge, to your main router. So whatever you can do with your main router, you can do using this bridge and the slave device here. So the, the possibilities are really quite endless. They're covered all in here. You can have a camera, a remote camera, now plugged into here via LAN port. Now it's transmitting back. You can have on your main router and your main hub, you can have your DVR hooked up there. Now it's bringing in the feed from your remote all the way into your main and covering it just like as if it was in your own house. So you've got so many different scenarios. Cameras, you can have up to four slave bridges transmitting into one master. So you could have four different cameras in four different areas as long as they're all within a 60 degree window or a 60 degree angle of view from the master bridge. I think it said it's 60 degrees horizontally, 30 degrees vertically, it'll pick it up. There's indicator lights to indicate the strength of your signal on both the master and your remote. So you can know how good your signal is and adjust as necessary. Possibilities are endless. Also worth mentioning, there is different channels you can have them set to, and of course they both have to be set to the same channel. This would come into play if you had multiple units, or if you don't have a real good signal, you can try changing channels. So short press on the reset button, you can choose channels from 0 to 9 and A to F. So the LED indicator on each one of the units will change as you push that reset button and you would scroll through, pick a channel you want, make sure it's matching on this side, and you're good to go. So there you have it, the basic operation of your Adalov wireless bridge. The CPE, this particular model that they sent me is actually the CPE 660. So there you have it, a brief review of the Adalov CPE 660 wireless bridge. Possibilities are endless. Get one of yours today, I'll provide a link in the description below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy review videos such as these for useful items. And please, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Click on that notifications bell so you'll know when I release some new material. So, Terry Peterman, your internet electrician, and we'll see you in the next one.